Hey boys and girls, what's going on? It's Sean. Today I want to talk to you about balance. Now, I've come to, as an old man, I've come to realize now that you have to have balance in your life. Without it, at some point, somewhere, the out of balance portion is going to break down. The whole mechanism will break and you won't be able to perform in any aspect of life because of the fact that you weren't paying attention to an integral aspect and therefore the entire system is broken down. Now to put that in the context of the musician, I'll just tell you my story. I literally spent from the time, I, I, when I was young, till I was about 15, I spent the majority of my time outside. I was an outdoorsman, I was a hunter, I hiked the mountains, I ran around the mountains. When I was a little kid, I played army in the mountains. Uh, ran around, I played soccer at a highly, highly competitive uh, level for a teenager. And uh, it, it was what I did. I spent less time playing music and writing songs, which I always did since I was about seven. Uh, but I spent more and more time working on music as I got older. And eventually, it caught up to the outdoor activities and it surpassed it. And then, in my teenage years, I spent most of my time writing, playing guitar, working on music. I spent a little time uh, in the Army. When I got a medical discharge when I came out just before, it was when I was 20, just before 20, or 20 years old. And uh, from then on, I went full on into music, performing it for my living, which I had done previously, and writing songs, creating music in the studio, etc. The days of my outdoors ship were over because there's only so much time in your life and I was obsessed with being an artist I didn't go fishing I was a big bass fisherman when I was younger I was a big saltwater fisherman I love these things when we moved to Florida I never really liked the climate here the humidity specifically it's not a heat thing although I do prefer it 70 degrees or below so I just didn't spend my time outside as much although quite a bit more than the kids today quite a bit more than my kids who never go outside you know, but that's an aside. But my life became out of balance. And, you know, I traveled, I, I, I did things, I did do some outdoor things. It's still way, way out of balance. As a human being, we are meant to be out using our legs, using our physicality, using our physical ability. And when you're not doing that, you're sitting around playing guitar or sitting around writing music for years and years and years, it has an effect on you, not, not, not only physically, it will have an effect on you mentally and psychologically. And uh, I guess it culminated in to spending years and years and years working on music, trying to become a better songwriter. And then the, uh, the apex of it was when I was writing songs in Nashville and I wrote a couple hundred songs in the space of a few years. That's a lot of music. Mostly it was on my own. I did co-write a lot as well. And when we decided to leave Nashville, that was my final hurrah of trying to, you know, make a living from my own art, which admittedly I came to later, too late in life. Uh, but when you're obsessed with something and you are, you are compelled to work on your art, I don't care if you're a, a painter or a songwriter, you can't, you can't just put that away and ignore it. You, you have to do it. Okay, it's not like, uh, you know, I'm a truck driver. I, when I'm not driving trucks, I don't drive trucks anymore. Or I'm a teacher. When I'm at home, I'm not teaching students. No, no, no. When you're an artist, you're always an artist. It doesn't matter. Um, but when I come, and then so anyway, we got to a point, and uh, I just put it all down, man. I spent literally years of my life 
from the 90s when it first came out to be viable on computer digi 001 system like 99 Maybe before that it was like Cubase and Cakewalk I spent over 20 years of my life in front of Pro Tools in a studio years of my life hundreds and hundreds and thousands of hours a year and uh when we moved out of Nashville, I sold my shit as soon as, you know, well, as soon as we got back to Florida, and I just never really opened Pro Tools again. I never worked on any, any, any music to speak of again, myself, and I've never written a song, and it's been nine years since I wrote a song, really, because the last couple of years I was in Nashville, all I did was work on demoing my backlog of songs that I had written, and I still don't have most of them demoed, and I forgot a lot of them. So, my life was so out of balance for so many years that in conjunction with playing music for a living, which I still do, when I'm not working on music for a living, now, I don't want to touch it. I go through my periods when I was excited, inspired and stuff, but for months now, months, I haven't been uninspired, I don't want to do anything, you know what I want to do, because my life was so out of balance, all I want to be is outside, hiking in the mountains, fishing, hunting, overlanding in my fucking land cruiser I have here, that I have, I want to make into an overland vehicle, I want to be outside doing these things, and the reason, and I have, I haven't written, I haven't even been compelled to write a song, and I fucked myself because my life was out of balance for so long that, I don't know, maybe a portion of, of my mind became necrotic at this point. I don't know if it's ever going to come back because I was so out of balance. I think it's crucial that you maintain a sense of balance as a human being, because it's going as an artist, because it's going to inform your art, it's going to uh, reinvigorate and uh, re-inspire you, you know? So people are inspired by whatever. But you, human beings are not meant to sit in front of a screen, or certainly not not meant to sit in front of a passive screen at 60 hertz, which is a mind control uh, frequency that, that the CIA figured out. You know, lo and behold, that's what a TV is. You can, you can look into that. It's not a conspiracy theory. Although to some of you, it probably just anything I say is a conspiracy theory. That you won't even look into it yourself. Uh, but anyway, I digress. If you get so out of balance, it's going to affect your entire life. So as an artist and as a musician, I'm telling you right now, it is crucial that you lead a balanced life. You watch your nutrition. You, you exercise, you go out and you do other activities, you have other hobbies outside. We need vitamin D to survive. If you're a deficient in vitamin D, you have a shot immune system. The easiest way to not get sick beyond allergies, which I have, but the easiest way to, to prevent your body from, from getting viruses and colds and flus and stuff is an abundance of vitamin D, vitamin D. Vitamin C as well, but most people are deficient in vitamin D. Take 5,000 IU a day for a couple months and see where you're at. But anyway, I just wanted to pop on here today because I was thinking about how out of balance everyone is. Everyone I know is out of balance, by the way. You know, we you don't need, you don't need your fucking iPhone. You don't need TV. You don't need any of those things. You need to get out. You need to walk. You need to be in the sun. You need to be in the beach. You need, you need to be in the mountains. You need to be hiking. You need to be doing activities. And we also need other human beings. Humans need humans. We are we are tribal and communal to, to that aspect. That we need other people. Uh, so you need relationships to be healthy as well. So if you're out of balance, you're finding yourself... Uh, artistically uh, just void right now work on your balance work on other things outside of your art alright talk to you soon bye